What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and I suppose I took it upon myself to go through all of these apparel farming videos and see what's what and if it actually does work. Spoiler alert, yeah it does. What you're going to want to do is go up to West End. You will want to take over the overgrowth control point, give them food, water, and parts so you can see everything everywhere and it will light up on your screen. I'm sure you know that. It's redundant. So what I did was just put a waypoint right in the middle of the block and I went all around this entire area up and down all the nooks and crannies like a Thomas's English muffin there is so much loot here it is obnoxious there are tons of the little black boxes the tool boxes for crafting materials farms backpacks suitcases armor crates weapon crates this floating mug you name it it's back here if I were you I would come here every day and loot now the second place that has been posted is in Foggy Bottom. You will want to take over the Sleeping Giant Control Point, come down to this little highway system, and then go back underneath the bridges, and there is an absurd amount of loot under here. Now you can go all the way down the entire highway, and there is boatloads of loot. Now the next place that was featured in one of these videos was West Potomac Park, and it was around the Campus Settlement Mission, where you run around this little ring right here. I did not not find this to be very lucrative I wouldn't really do it unless you really wanted to but yeah I mean there was some outcast boxes but I would wait until we hit world tier 5 before spending any of your keys at this time I'd kind of ignore this place for now it wasn't that great and the final place was in constitutional hall right here you may want to take over the ivory tunnel control point I didn't bother with it I just fast traveled to the campus and ran down there there was a fair amount of apparel and loot and other stuff in here it was pretty decent but it was nowhere as good as what was in West End and nowhere is near as good as what I found in Foggy Bottom by the Sleeping Giant. And other than those places, I had a bit of luck running around the outside of the map getting crafting materials and apparel and whatnot around there, so you might want to give that a shot too. Also, keep in mind that the toolboxes, black boxes, backpacks, and suitcases, they can be reopened once every hour to two hours, somewhere in there, I don't know exactly, so you can't continually go back and get... I don't know, lots of clothes if you want. But yeah, that's all I got. These are uh, legit loot points. You will get buttloads of apparel out of them and a buttload of everything else. I don't know why nobody, they didn't say that you, I don't know, whatever. Is what it is. Seriously, go loot these places. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you know of any other places I'd really like to know. Either I'll pin it or maybe I'll do a video on it and uh, maybe feature you. I don't know. That's up to you. Hit the old like button if you could. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already for division and news and whatever else I decide to do on this channel and all that other crap. And I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace!